So welcome today we're going to create a hotspot and you're running on an RB951 UI to H and D. So first of all connect to Winbox. So once you're in Winbox, the first thing you do you want to create a bridge. So go ahead and click the add button, then name your bridge BRHS. You can actually choose any name, but I prefer to put it like this. And go ahead and save that. Head to IP and open addresses, you're going to create an address. So you can see here that we have three existing addresses. So we're going to delete what is not being used and replace the LAN address, which is default for such routers, with the hotspot. That means if you want to do LAN, you have to create a new one. So here you can click the add button, add, but I prefer you open the LAN. Make sure you don't select the one. Then you just copy this or you edit on top because you don't want the LAN. So I'm going to head and select 41 in this case. So that you're going to create a DHCP server, so go ahead and select IP and select DHCP. First option is DHCP server, the DHCP you delete on the existing one. So we're going to DHCP setup the setting for fresh. Make sure you select the brick that we created, which is BRHS, very important. Then the pool, confirm the pool is okay. Then next, next up to the end to select a pool for itself. Later we shall rename that pool. So we want to rename this pool, the HCP underscore pool1, to something familiar. So we go to IP again and select on the pool. So we click on the pools, click on the exact pool. So we're going to rename this to pool BRHS. So that the RAM is our bridge here. Yeah. Select that. Okay, see so that changes up at the DHCP server. Next, we are going to select and create our hotspot. So let's go to IP and we're going to create a server. So the hotspot server here, we shall select it on hotspot setup. So make sure you select the interface. The interface in this case is our bridge HS. So it's a BRHS and you click on next. Make sure you click on masquerade. Allows you have to go to firewall and masquerade that IP. Click on next. Next. Make sure it's a on next. So we're going to change the DNS name here. DNS is something simpler that maybe your customers or your users can remember. In this case, I'm going to call it my hotspot dot net. Well, let me just call it my hotspot dot Wi Fi. Then click next. Then the user, this is one of the users. You shall learn to add users later. So the first user is admin, give your admin user a password. So now the important thing to note is you can go to the server profiles. Here we're going to see the server profile. Here you can set the speed. So you click on that. So we're going to have the user profile you can remember depending on the number of users you have. So you're going to there you can add the speed, but you've learned that in another video. So and then there you can check the HTML. This directory is which holds your HTML uh, files that will lead us to where users can sign in. Later we'll see how we can create that HTML file and customize it. So head to your quick setup so that you can check the default WLAN. So this gives you a router. Not all routers are compatible, but for this model it is so that we test our output. So you are now going to add the wireless LAN to the bridge and a port that you deserve to connect to your access points so that they can connect to the uh, hotspot. So we'll go to the bridge, then go to the ports. Remember to select the ports here and rename them. So we're going to go to port number five, we select that. Add it into the bridge. So we're going to click on that and then select the bridge. Before I do the assignment, I'm going to rename and rename when I go to interface, select on the Ethernet port. And on that, I'm going to call it uh, A5 hotspot. So that means that any access point that is connected to that hotspot will transmit the hotspot. So I'm going as well to rename. So the one as well is going to be connected. Go back to the bridge port, select the new port, double click on it. 
hotspots and then select it on BRHS, which is our bridge hotspot. The file that we created, so you see that pops up. This is now you put in the credentials of the admin, then the password you put is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you did everything correctly, then that will direct you to a success page.